Now we've been playing with Samsung's new Galaxy Note 9 smartphone and it's very nice but it's also very bloody expensive. So we're going to do a quick side by side now with the OnePlus 6 which is one of our favourite phones from 2018. Costs about half the price but still rocks some very premium specs and features to see which one might be best for you. So just when you think the phones can't get any bloody bigger, Samsung comes along with a 6.4 inch beast. Regardless of that infinity display design, this thing is basically a tablet. You'll need proper clown trousers if you want to stuff it inside of your pocket. I honestly thought that the OnePlus 6 was already pushing the boundaries when it comes to size, but the Note 9 is an absolute monster. It's taller and it's noticeably heftier as well. That said, at least Samsung has helped out a bit by giving the Note 9 a proper one-handed mode. This allows you to shrink it down all of your apps and everything else on the display to make it a lot easier to handle with one mitt. In comparison, the OnePlus 6 basically has a little bit of help. You can drag down the notifications bar from anywhere on screen, but that's pretty much your whack. Construction-wise, these two phones are very similar. They both rock an aluminium frame around the edge with a Gorilla Glass 5 rear end. That said, the OnePlus 6 does come in a range of finishes. So for instance, you've got a choice of matte or glossy surfacing, as well as a funky ceramic style design. The Note only comes in that glossy finish, and like the shiny version of the OnePlus 6, it's a flipping fingerprint magnet. Honestly, good luck making these phones look good on camera. These little buggers need a 5 minute buffing just to clean up the grease and muck. When it comes to water resistance, the Galaxy Note 9 does have IP68 certification, so that means it can be submerged quite happily under a metre of water for like half an hour or so. The OnePlus 6 is merely splash resistant according to the official specs, but we have noticed that it can take a proper soak and absolutely fine. Both of these phones have a headphone port so you can plug in your wired phones, and they both have some sort of special shortcut button too. The OnePlus 6 has its alert slider which is really helpful, it can basically quickly mute the phone with just a swift flick. In comparison, the Note 9 has a Bigsby button which loads up Samsung's rather hopeless assistant. Although apparently Bigsby is actually pretty good in its home country of Korea, go figure. As for the software on board, you do of course get Android Oreo in both cases, with the manufacturer's own overlay slathered on top. That just adds a bunch of extra features and changes up the general look and feel of Android. So for instance, both of these handsets offer facial recognition on top of that fingerprint sensor, while the Note 9 also throws in some iris scanning which can be used in conjunction with the facial recognition. In both cases it's very secure and it works very well as long as you're standing still. Even in the dark you'll get good results. Both the Note 9 and the OnePlus 6 also share plenty of other features such as a gaming mode which helps to stop any notifications from interrupting you while you're getting your game on and of course plenty of gesture support as well. However, when it comes to the features, the Note 9 does have a massive advantage over the OnePlus 6 in the form of the S Pen Stylus. This is absolutely fantastic for taking notes, getting creative and loads more. It adds a whole new layer of control and in this generation it can even be used as a remote control thanks to its built-in Bluetooth support. Right now admittedly there is very limited use for that wireless support, but who knows, perhaps some app devs can actually make something of it, only time will tell. You also get built-in support for Samsung's DeX, which basically turns your smartphone into a sort of makeshift desktop computer, potentially handy if you forget your laptop and you stagger off to work. When it comes to the screen tech, it's a 6.4 inch Super AMOLED on the Galaxy Note 9 versus a 6.3 inch AMOLED screen on the OnePlus 6. The Galaxy Note 9 does boast a sharper panel, it's a Quad HD Plus resolution compared with the Full HD Plus OnePlus 6. Both phones offer a stretched aspect ratio which is ideal for enjoying some movies on the move, especially as those displays are friggin huge. Seriously, hold them just a few inches from your face and it's like being at the bloody IMAX. However, the Note 9 is the only phone here offering HDR support. But at least you can configure the visuals on both of these blows to suit your own personal tastes, changing the colour hues and the temperature. Performance is really tight on both of these phones. You get a Snapdragon 845 packed into the OnePlus 6 and you'll get the same on the Note 9 if you're living in America. Otherwise it's Samsung's own Exynos 9810 chipset in most of the rest of the world, including here in the UK. Both of these phones offer either 6 or 8 gigs of RAM too, so they're definitely future proof, especially when you factor in the super fast connectivity. You'll have no trouble with apps or games or any of that shenanigans for the foreseeable. As for storage, you get a choice of 64, 128 or 256 gigs of space on the OnePlus 6, depending on your budget. The Note 9 starts at 128, one step up, and it also goes all the way up to 512 gigabytes. And sadly, there is no support for micro SD memory cards on the OnePlus 6. Boo. The Note 9 definitely shames it here with support for up to cards of 512 gigs in size, giving up to 1 terabytes of storage in total. On a phone. That's more than my sodden laptop. Unsurprisingly, the Galaxy Note 9 also packs a bigger battery into its monstrous frame. We're talking a 4000mAh cell versus 3300mAh on the OnePlus 6. 
That said, the OnePlus does boast pretty solid battery life, lasting well into a day more often than not. Meanwhile, the Note's battery appears to drain pretty much before your very eyes, especially if you've got all the features activated. That said, the Note 9 can charge wirelessly if that is your bag, although personally we'd rather have the OnePlus 6's excellent dash charge, which powers the phone back up in next to no time at all. When it comes to the camera tech, both of these blowers support a dual lens rear snapper. The Galaxy Note 9 has two 12 megapixel lenses. The first is smart enough to automatically adjust its aperture between f2.4 and f1.5, definitely handy for those low light situations. Meanwhile, the second lens offers a 2 times optical zoom, and both of these lenses support optical image stabilisation to counter your shaky hands, definitely useful when you've had a few jars. Meanwhile, the OnePlus 6 sports a 16 megapixel lens backed by a 20 megapixel shooter, both with an f1.7 aperture. That primary lens has OIS, but there is no optical zoom on offer. Both of these cameras offer quite a lot of different features. For instance, they've both got a portrait mode, which blurs the background to help your subject to stand out, which seems to work pretty well on both phones. You can snap panoramas and the usual smartphone shenanigans, while both handsets also offer manual controls so you can get a very precise kind of shot. Of course, the Note 9 is the only handset here that can turn you into a shonky looking cartoon, so there's that. As for video, you can shoot up to 4K resolution footage at 60 frames per second on either the Galaxy Note 9 or the OnePlus 6, and you also have some pretty decent slow motion options if that's your bag. Flip it around to the front and both phones are strong on the selfie front. The 16 megapixel OnePlus 6 snapper and the 8 megapixel Note 9 shooter perform admirably even in pretty dodgy lighting, and you can use some software smarts to blur the background just like you can with the portrait mode on that rear camera. We'll be giving you a full camera comparison between the Galaxy Note 9 and the OnePlus 6 and a bunch of other premium phones really shortly, so stay tuned for that. But of course what this comparison all really comes down to is the asking price. The OnePlus 6 starts at just 470 quid here in the UK, while the most basic model of Note 9 will cost you a frankly ludicrous 900 pounds. That's almost twice the price of the OnePlus. I mean, if you've got that kind of money to burn, then definitely feel free to send some more away. Textbert Towers, Sewage Lane, Slough. And while the Galaxy Note 9 definitely has some serious advantages over the OnePlus, such as that S Pen support, you've got to wonder how often you'd use it in real life, and if it's really worth that extra cash. So that is our full OnePlus 6 versus Galaxy Note 9 comparison. Let us know what you think in the comments down below. Do you love the Note 9 more? Is the OnePlus 6 your next handset? Definitely be interested to hear what you think, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more on the latest and greatest mobile tech. Cheers, love you.